Hi everyone, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to watch the following episode for the Asian Magus Bride. Oh, Maho Su... God, I can't believe I forgot the name. <laughs> Maho Sukai no Yome. I think I got it right. I don't think I got it right. I don't think so. <laughs> it's been a while, sorry. Um, it's already building up the upcoming arc. And I'm really, really excited because, again, it's, it's a really, really, really amazing arc. And I'm so excited to, until they animate those uh, chapters in the manga, which literally had me like, wow. <laughs> Especially, I love the fact that they're doing a, a Finomela pretty much uh, crying. It, it's it's going to come in later. But... I'm really loving this, especially the tunnel part. I'm glad that they kept that little detail. But yeah, I, I have definitely to go back to the manga in the beginning of these chapters because I know I remember some part. I think that's shorter a little later, but I love. love I think I love the fact about the last episode was the effect of uh, she says, uh, I, well, you know, um, Joseph, uh, Joseph, Joseph, there you go. His eye just changing and then pretty much repeating what the those beats are saying and it's like oh it's so freaky. It, it pretty is pretty scary. <laughs> but I'm really really excited to see more because we're gonna see Chisa interacting with the students and I really really love this part. <laughs> so let's begin. ありがとう。<笑> Goodness, it's pretty harsh. <laughs> <laughs> she might be harsh, but she's looking out for her. She's just very harsh and honest, and I don't think there's nothing wrong about that. Oh, the tragedy. That reminds me of camp class. It really takes me back. Just clean the... The apparatus. Yep. Oh, 
わかりやすく教える自信はあるよ七つの盾というのは、ここのカレッジを設立した七つの魔術の大破のことだ。知恵の老人グレイ、獣殺しのセントジョージ、美術の立憲学科、戦術の総裁選、錬金術の応援俳優、音楽のナイチンゲール、主語のスクリーム上、大戦で魔法使いも魔術師も大前進だろう。魔術の存続を危ぶんだ彼らは、密かに建てたのがこのカレッジさ正直にあんまり関わらない方がいいというかねどういう意味だイアンは別だよ正確にはスクリーム上は魔術に明るい守り手を多く輩出した家柄だ今でも争いが多いから魔術師が依頼してきてそれを守る傭兵みたいな感じだねなるほど俺は家出るからもう関係ないかなウェブストーンの悲劇って何のことだか知ってますウェブストーンって運指のことチセそれは誰から聞いたえ双子のジャスミンかどうやら僕らみたいな下々は知らない方がいいやつみたいだねそうだね God, I hate that they're postponing the Webster tragedy. And this is why I like Lucy. I mean, it's not right what she did, but it's not fair that he's doing that. Yeah. How did that effect so good? Well, the one that needs to apologize is Lucy. I mean, she was offended, she said, but it wasn't the right way to, to do it. It's true. You want an apology. I don't know. 
コルドーンは人間と会話できないんだ発生の音域が人類とだいぶ違うんだそれに極めつきは邪眼だよ目のあった相手を動けなくする No, you're a lamp, are you, man? So cool. <laughs> 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 He's a sorcerer. Uh, yeah, the dragon curse. It's because it's a curse. I think they're cute.
頭が蛇で驚くようなやつもここにいるわけ先生方を見なさいよ先生方はもともと人間じゃんでも怖いな今でも時々軽いドに捕まって戻らない人もいるんだじゃああんた魔術師になりたいわけじゃないのやらないよあれは人間のやることだろところでどうする知られたくないなら本当に旧約の魔術でもこいつが盗み聞きしてくれやめろこっそりついてきた聞くか覗くかしよう料理のつもりそいつの家は東方だとかが専門なんだカレッジの中でまでそんなことをやらされているのかこの中でのことは聞いていたか社員の魔術をくぐり抜けたのか俺を誰かに言う気か私から誰かに言う気もない誰かから聞かれたら私もドキドキは権利がないからしかも契約の術をする秘密を誰かに明かそうとしたものの喉が開く。吐き知るそうとしたら指を打ちる。ちょっと怖い。そうか。私はまるでくばれたくないってだけだけど、アイデアのことは誰にも言わないでほしいんだ。人間なら、はっきり言ってくれた方がいい。え、命令じゃなくて。It's like she said, but worse, honestly. Wow, I'm glad they, they did this. Cool. <laughs> Webster の話を知性に振ったそうだな。ジャスミン。あの家の話はやめておけ。ついにうっかり言っちゃっただけさ。七つの縦の家の子である自覚を持つ。<笑>やっぱりスクリームジョーは言うことが違うな。人間の要素、全部上場。そう。俺はもう、俺の一人で決めたかった。僕たちが勝手に自分の血を捨てられるとでも。Wow, damn it, and it's over already. <laughs> Not fair. I love how they even explain the Gorn and goodness, I love this episode. 
there's something so magical about this anime. You know what it reminds me? Of Studio Ghibli. I mean, one of my top favorite films is Spirit Away. I just love that film. And it really holds a special place in my heart because it's one of the first Japanese films my grandfather, rest in peace, uh, he introduced me to um, anime anime film. <laughs> I mean, I've been watching anime film as a kid. Dragon Ball. Uh, I think there was one, Heidi um, and Rambo One and a Half. But my grandfather introduced me to Studio Ghibli. That movie, it's honest, it holds a very special place in my heart. And every time I watch it, I feel like my grandfather is is there with me to watch it. So honestly, this anime reminds me of Studio Ghibli. Just there's something so magical and so special about this man. Especially how we got an explanation to uh ah damn I forgot his name. <laughs> Uh, Lin, I think that's his name, Lin, being a Gordon and even explaining what it was. And I thought that was really, really cool. And I'm glad that they kept those little effects that were in the manga. I mean, Lucy might seem harsh and a little bit mean. But I love that, that the fact that she's very, very honest. And honestly, I prefer someone who might be harsh and honest and someone who might be a fake and a phony. And hey, she knew she... she up but she went there and to apologize we're still gonna get more information about Philomela and why uh, Lucy does not like her and her family it's gonna be explained a little bit later but I'm very very excited for the next episode because we're gonna see Silky again Silver Lady one of my favorite characters I just love how cute she is <laughs> we're gonna see Man, I'm I'm just so so excited. <laughs> I actually I man, I wanna I think I'm gonna start re re reading the manga because I, I just love this man. I love the interaction with uh, Alice. It's it's so good, man. Honestly, yeah, I think this animation, this anime just reminds me of Studio Ghibli. Now I feel like watching Spirit Away. <laughs> My friend, um he decided to see some um gonna take a break from work because he's been dealing with some uh, some issues, so he's gonna take a break. And he told me which uh Studio Ghibli movies I watched. And I told him, well, uh I told him, watch uh Grave of the Fireflies. That's one movie. It's an amazing movie, but sadly it's one film I cannot bear watch again but it's it's a film that you definitely need to watch in your lifetime even if it's just once it's one film that you need to watch no matter what and it's I love that film it's also one of my favorite but I just can't bear to watch it again because it's incredibly painful and just thinking about it hurts but it's such a beautiful film soundtrack it's just perfect even though I watched that film once, it's pretty much engraved into my mind, into my soul. And it's a reminder why we're so lucky that we're nowhere near. I mean, I, I live here in the U.S. and I'm very grateful and very blessed that I never had to deal with the horrors of war. I'm, I'm hoping I never have to deal with that. And, and I feel and I pray for those who live in pretty much uh, in war zones. But yeah, it's one film I definitely recommend you watching at least once. It's like a sh uh, children's list. I hope I'm saying his name right. It's one film that you, you have to watch once, but you cannot bear to watch it again. But like I said before, uh, Spirit of What is one of my favorite films. I did watch a little bit of my neighbor Totoro and a little bit of Kiki's Delivery Service, but ha I have yet to finish those films. <laughs> I need to watch all Ghibli films, so I'm thinking I might do that. Uh, once I get a little bit less busy, but yeah, definitely to watch that. He watched Crave of the Fireflies, he told me, and he said it's one of the best films he has ever watched, but he, he cannot bear to watch it one more time. I even told him, once you watch this film, you're never going to wa want to watch it again. 
he watched another film, but I forgot the name, and he wants to get some figures. So he's going to watch every uh, Ghibli film by release date. <laughs> so it's going to take him a while until he reaches my favorite film. <laughs> but honestly, yeah, it, it just reminds me of Sudi Ghibli, just the magic of it. And I, rem I remember I watched one of the Ovas from uh, The Ancient Magus Bride. It made me cry because it was just so beautiful. Goodness, I'm very, very excited for this uh, anime. I, I just love the soundtrack. The visuals, it's it's so magical, man. <sighs> well, anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to see you for the next video.